Ernesto Valverde is not the world's most recognisable manager, looking more like a Spanish restaurant manager than that of one of the world's biggest superclubs. He could probably walk down Barcelona's Las Ramblas without turning many heads. But management is not all about showbiz and soundbites. Without wanting to state the obvious, it is first and foremost about building a solid foundation from which to win football matches. And in that respect, Valverde is something of a throwback. Unlike Mourinho or Klopp, who seem to thrive on media attention, Valverde would probably quite happily forego media duties if it meant he could concentrate solely on team building and coaching. Well, and some photography too, his great passion outside of football, which he says allows him to escape from the constant pressure inside the football bubble. On course to guide Barcelona to the La Liga title in just his first season at the helm, little is known about the understated manager from the Extremadura in the southwest of Spain, and his appointment at the Catalan Giants last summer caused some surprise. So let's get to know him. A hard-working striker who wasn't blessed with special natural talents in his playing days, Valverde's striking exploits earned him international status, albeit just one solitary cap. He is also one of the few players to have played for both Catalan clubs, Espanyol and Barcelona. And while eight goals in 22 league games didn't exactly earn him legendary status at Camp Nou, he does have the claim to fame of being the first Barcelona player signed by bona fide club legend Johan Cruyff. Valverde enjoyed his most productive spell at Atletico Bilbao, which is also the club he forged his reputation as a manager. He started his managerial career at the Basque club's reserve side in 2002 and was soon promoted to the first team. He then left the safe bosom of the Basque country and embarked on something of a managerial odyssey, which, funnily enough, reached its high point in terms of trophies at Greek giants Olympiakos, where he actually is hailed as something of a legend, winning three straight league titles. After a decade away, he found himself back at the helm of Los Leones in 2013, and it was his consistent work here over the next four seasons that ultimately earned him the call from Barcelona. While he did gain some Champions League experience during his brief trophy-laden stint in Athens, Barcelona is the first club where he'll be expected to challenge to win the trophy and not simply be proud to compete. He did help Atletico Bilbao qualify for European football's most prestigious competition in 2013-14, but that experience was ultimately a forgettable one as the Basque side finished bottom of their group, claiming just a single point along the way. However, that negative experience must be mitigated by highlighting that he qualified the Basques for the Europa League in four straight seasons. The Ant left an important legacy in the Basque country, which is also immortalised by his 306 matches at the helm, a club record. His departure was met with real disappointment from the Los Leones players, as summed up by young striker Inaki Williams. It's a pity he's leaving us, but the team he leaves is more than capable. He's broken records with us. He's very calm and very normal. He brings calm in all the bad moments, and whoever gets him will have a great coach. And Barcelona fans have certainly discovered that. With Neymar defecting to PSG last summer, there were fears for Barcelona's chances of staying apace with Spanish champions Real Madrid this year. And maybe it's just as well Neymar was no longer around to play under Valverde, because Barcelona's new manager has often gone on record insisting that football is about achieving objectives first and foremost, and has little time for the fancy trickery loved by Neymar. Valverde has steadied the ship like a stoic captain, sacrificing the club's traditional 4-3-3 fluid formation for a more industrious 4-4-2, with Paulinho playing a surprise role as box-to-box -box midfielder, while Messi has dropped deeper as an auxiliary midfielder during games. Much of the credit for Barcelona's smooth season must go to Valverde, just don't expect the ant to take any.